Hello, and welcome to my first Let's Find Out episode. This series will be filled with me trying to find out new stuff in Minecraft. It is an additional series connected to my single player's Let's Play. Yeah, oh, yeah, nice. Okay, I hope you guys can learn something by following me along. And sometimes these episodes, episodes will not have the... Okay, okay, okay. Sometimes these episodes will not have a satisfactory happy ending. Yeah. But who knows how it goes. As you can hear, I have some horses. But, in this episode, I'll be figuring out how breeding in Minecraft works. Or at least breeding with horses, not other animals or villagers or whatever. I have set up all these different horse breeds. Oop. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I have set this up so I can explain everything. And I've ordered it by color and marking. So, these are the colors. I'll be explaining it in further detail just in a moment. And these are the markings. As you can see there's a different group over here. I'll be coming to that as well. You can summon a horse by following the next command. Let's see. Summon Minecraft horse and then you have the location. I used it as a relative location, so this is my location, my location plus one, and another location coordinate, and I'm telling what kind of horse it should be. So the variant is 1024, and I already want it tamed, so yes. If I don't want it tamed, it's either a zero or completely left out. But I want it tamed. So, and this number, 1024, or 0, or 1, or 2, or 3, or 4, or 5, or 6, 7 doesn't work, sadly, but eh, I'll be getting to these numbers and how they are originating in just a bit as well. So, let's try something with... A nice horse. Let's say 258. Ooh. Looky here. We've got a chestnut white. So no real markings. And it's a beautiful specimen. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. I like it. Let's name him first generation. I'm not going to do anything with him, except for maybe giving him a saddle, that would be nice, and let's run, okay, enough fun, alrighty, get to the point, Viking, okay, 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 we're getting to the point, um, the, the commands can be copy and pasted in the description. I'll be leaving it down there. Um, yeah, let's continue. A horse has a number in Minecraft 1.13. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Okay, so it ranges from zero to Six. So it's seven different colors. White, let's go to this one. White, creamy, chestnut, brown, black, gray, and dark brown. Okay. But now you can see it goes from zero to six. And then it jumps to 256. And going up until 262 but then it jumps back jumps up again with 
256 to 512. And it goes to 518. And then it jumps forward with 256. See horsey, thank you. To 700 and 868. Uh, Dutch English. Yeah. To 774. With the final starting at 1024. Going to 1030. So, every time it jumps to another marking, I want to say pattern, but marking is the way to go. It jumps with 256. So, 256 plus 256, and you have it here. This is the final number, final range number. So, if you want to summon a horse, you can just do like 256, and then if you want to have one range higher, you do just do this, 512, or 768, or 1024. Okay, so I'm not going to redo this, because I've already got one. Hi, hi. Okay. Meow. My cat wants attention again. No. Okay, so let's go to some examples for horse breeding, shall we? We have four examples, or at least four tests that I want to do. We have the same color, same markings. We have the different color, same markings, as you can see. And we have the same color, but different markings. And finally, we have different colors and different markings. So, I've, all, I've called them all first generation, because if I want to breed them, I just want to know which is the first generation, or second, or third, or fourth, or fifth generation. I just want to know. Um yeah, let's go and read. Normally you'd have to tame them, but I did my magic. I already tamed them by just putting the command. Okay, so let's see if the same color and same markings produce a file with the same color and same markings. Let's see if it works like that. There is a foul. Where are you, tiny one? You are second generation. And yes, it produced the same. Nice. Okay, let's try this with a different color, but same markings. Let's see what happens. Do they keep their markings? Or does change? Or which color is it going to choose? So, let's see. There is a foal. And it's like one of its parents. Nice! Okay. But, the next question is, what will happen if we do this and this? Because this is a child of this one. I am not sure if that kind of math works, multiple generations, but I'm definitely willing to try. Okay, so same color, but different markings. What will happen to this couple of horses and its foal? A completely different one, but the same markings as one of them. That is strange. Did something random happen? I have no idea. We'll see in the next rebreeding. I'm just going to retry this multiple times and see what happens. Okay, so a completely different color and different marking. Oh, sweet. They can put, the, put their heads over the fence. Nice. Okay, let's try this. 
and it is this color, the white, but the pattern or markings of this one. I hope you can see that because this white spot and this white spot is the same as this white spot and this white spot. Ah, nice. So this isn't. This is just the only one that's different than. It should have been, right? So let's wait. I'll be back when I can breed them again. Because now, as you can see, I can't. I just can't sit on them. I don't want to just sit on them. But I want to know more. Okay. Shift. It's, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Yay. Well, I'll come back. Okay, so... I've been reading during the wait for them to grow up and waiting for re-breeding. I have read on the wiki that usually the fowl gets the color and markings of its parents. But one out of nine times it will take on a random color. This color could still be the same as the parents. But in this case it just took a different color. And as I understand it, markings were the same. So it could have had completely different markings than and colors color than its parents. So let's try this one again. Shall we? This one and this one. Because we want a second generation. Look, this is more like it. This is exactly the same as one of its parents. How cute is that? And I'm going to feed it. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's suckling to its parent. And now it's big. So, this horse is not tamed. You have to retame it, or at least not retame it. You have to tame it to make it yours. So let's do that. No, I want to be your friend. Look, it's quite fast. Nice. So I hope this clarifies something for you because it did for me. Uh, if there are any questions, please leave a comment. And if you liked it, leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my page yet, just hit that subscribe button. Like it out. Bye.